Hi guys, this is Delaware Studios. You're welcome to another episode of Android Programming. We'll be looking at the Android Observable uh, Scroll View, uh, in which we'll be talking about the Flexible Space Toolbar Scroll. Okay, uh, we'll be having the Flexible Space uh, in modules. This is the first module, which is the Toolbar Scroll, and we we'll would like to show how to actually incorporate the Flexible Space uh into the android application okay i'll be moving straight to android studio which is my development environment uh we'll I'll be talking about the grade scripts uh the modal app session i would like to talk about the dependencies here which is which is very very important uh the app compact version 7 the support design 23.4.0 and also the calm the github the kishogio Android Observable Scroll View 1.5.0 library is very important, and the com.9 old Androids uh, library 2.4.0 also very very important. I'll be moving straight to the build gradle, uh, the project session where we only have the class parts com. Android tools build gradle 1.5.0. That's fine. I'll be moving straight to the layout files where I have the, uh, the activity about you know. This is going to be uh, cognizance in all modules of uh, the observable uh, scroll view. And also, uh, I have the activity flexible space toolbar scroll view, which is ad actually holding on to the Java class flexible space toolbar scroll activity. Okay, we have for the activity main, which is for the main activity, uh, the divider, examiner, and the list item main. Okay, let's look at the activity flexible to basket review because that's the point of talk today uh it's a flame frame layout with a layout with the night match parent and uh we have this included the uh observable scroll view okay and also another frame layout with the padding top 72 dp the text view of uh padding bottom left right and top all 16 dbs 64 dbs uh respectively we have to close the observable scroll bar and there is a view uh, from the color primary as the background and also the toolbar itself uh, from the support version 7 widgets okay uh, we're going to have a relative layout uh, right inside this relative layout we have the text view uh, with gravity center vertical and also another linear layout uh, with which the orientation is vertical and the view uh, layout with match parent another view follows afterwards with the match parent uh, for the layout with the closing linear layout the relative layout and the frame layout let's look at the design view maybe the initialization would have been rendered uh, for us to see how it's going to actually look like uh, okay uh, close this okay this is the UI of the Active Flexible Toolbar Scroll View. Okay, we'll get to see uh, more details of that in the GV. Uh, okay, we have for the main activity, which is actually uh, for the list of the scroll views in question. You know, uh, the main activity extends app compact activity, where it implements the adapter view on click item listener, on item click listener, rather. Uh, we created four fields here the category samples the tag class name the tag description and the tag intent uh, this is basically just going to uh, let us have a list of the particular uh scroll view we'll be talking about because we're going to be having a lot of scroll views uh, in this module of the observable uh scroll view uh included okay uh the main focus should be on the flexible toolbar scroll activity uh, which extends the base activity we'll be looking at the base activity and implements the observable scroll view callback okay whereby we imported uh, the observable scroll view its callback the scroll state and the scroll utilities okay we have four fields there the m flexible space view the m toolbar view the space height okay this calls from the layout activity flexible toolbar scroll view uh, with a support action bar that's the up button two bar okay and now we need to instantiate the flexible space view uh, view we created 
M title calling on the corresponding IDs and the M title we need to the M title view we need to set the text the M2 bar view we call it ID okay uh, we have the observable scroll view instantiated and the set scroll view callback is being called on it okay also we have the M flexible space height given at 72 dp okay uh, we have the on up or cancel motion event the way we're going back that's the meaning of up it's called up in android uh, development we have the update flexible space text text okay uh, it's getting the transition of the y coordinates and also the maximum scale which is a float uh, data type uh, we have the set pivot x y and the set uh, scale x and y are also all right uh, that's for the uh, flexible space to basco view activity let's look at the base activity that it actually extends which is which extends the app compact it gets the action bar size you know, it is going to actually work on the action bar size and also set some dummy data okay uh you set the dummy data with header you know, and uh, uh it's going to set dummy data with header based on the recycler view uh parameter and the header height also as a parameter okay i'll be looking at the manifest uh whether we have uh the launcher activity being declared over here and the corresponding the or the ensuing uh, activity for the flexible space toolbar scroll okay that's the next activity we call you need to include this in your manifest okay i'll be launching this uh my android uh emulator and also i would like you to get the source code for my github account so that you can be able to uh, utilize the flexible space toolbar scroll view activity in your android uh, application okay okay my uh, application has been launched to my android emulator uh, the flexible space so we'll be having a uh, first list which is the flexible space toolbar scroll view activity all right uh, in subsequent videos we'll be populating more activities into this list okay uh, let's get to click on this and let's see the, uh, the flexible space toolbar in, in play okay uh do you notice this the space right on top here uh and also the text uh views uh the text hold in it so when you scroll up uh it's going to actually take up the, the full space and get back to the normal uh bar okay when you have to scroll down to the, to the top you know it's going to expand this uh topmost layer that's a flexible space uh, in my second video, we'll be adding our uh, pictures. We'll be doing a lot of uh, funky things with a flexible uh, scroll view from the uh, Android observable uh, scroll view implementation. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this uh, tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye bye.